afternoon and a very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express. I'm Jeannie D and so good to be back here. I know. Where have you been? I was in South Korea last week, Stunning. which is one of the most phenomenal places in the world. You know, I've watched all the documentaries on North Korea mm. and so I was kind of expecting that. But I've never been more impressed and blown away by people, culture, community and just such a, such a phenomenal country. If you're looking for a place to travel to, Bucket list, yeah. South Korea is definitely I'm not really place. smiling right now because I've followed all your Insta stories and seeing the food that you're eating, the venues you're visiting. Well, we were all here grinding and making the dollar, honey. Okay, but this weekend was just huge because, Massive. of course, the SARM has happened mm -hmm. and the red carpet. I've never wanted to do a fashion police show more in my life <laughs> than when I saw what was going on at the SARM. Crazy. What did you think of it? Let us know. Yeah, what are some of the highlights for you? Because, I mean, that Skolopad thing was a big deal. Well, wow, Skolopad, what a lady said no one ever. <laughs> <laughs> that photo of her posted like sprawled across the red carpet. Yeah, Crazy. she definitely does know how to get tongues wagging about her. But then Kelly Kamalo, who I absolutely love, just, I mean, she reminded me of when um, oh, wow, Rihanna yes. went to the Met, to the Met Gala. And those flowers you know, that and the massive dress. yellow mm. dress. Mm. So Kelly, wow. You did that so was well. The, so, so beautiful. Yeah, we also had some other crazy ones. Obviously, our host for the evening yeah. was our favorite Sumizi. I think something crazy like six outfit changes. I saw one in the news bulletins. <sighs> this man had to order a Christian Labotan shoe just to match one of his outfits. And all of his outfit mm. changes were incredible. I want to be Sumizi when I'm big. He took over. <laughs> and I mean, what a great host he was just to have He's around these. Got such a cool presence about him. Um, any other crazy like wardrobe things? I know Pearl. I think Pearl was looking amazing. She Pearl looks always looks amazing. I think She's she brought fantastic. her daughter with her. I think it was yes, Pearl. Yes, her date. How lovely. So sweet, and they rocked that red carpet. So talking about people who are rocking the red carpet to people who are rocking 2017, we have two of those stars in our loft today. Indeed, I'm so excited. The first is one of my ex colleagues, uh, Denise Naidu, joins us in the loft today. She started with me at Hectic 99. She's gone on to work as a sort of PR consultant. She's gone on to She's amazing. do a whole bunch of really amazing. Thing. She moved to Joburg and now has got her first official single, which she is launching right here on Afternoon Express, a music career. When am I dancing? My starting my dancing videos. That's going to be my next career. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're an avid listener of 5FM, especially on the weekend evenings, you'll know that not too long ago, a new star was added to the roster. Mm -hmm. He's the host of Party with PH every Saturday night from 7 till 10 p.m. He's also a music producer, and last year he dropped a single featuring Questa, who took over the Samas. The song was called till the morning. Uh, they're calling him the next DJ Fresh and he is definitely one of the movers and shakers of 2017. <laughs> 30 minutes into the show and we're training baby. Literally blowing up. Yay, finally, we have you in our loft. Yeah, yeah. thank you for Welcome. having me. Welcome. <laughs> so let's start from the yeah. very beginning. Let's go mm -hmm. with your name, PH. Is it because you've got good balance going uh, on in your life? <laughs> I think later on in life I discovered that, but uh, my full name, and uh, till this day I still wonder why my parents named me this, but uh, for a reason, Pindu Tobe Matubela, which is a tongue twister for a lot of people. Yeah. So people cut it short to Pindi. Yeah. Later on realized that Pindi is a girl's name to PH. Oh, wow. Well, that's yeah. how I became Jeannie D, because my surname's Digavea, oh, wow. and nobody yeah. could pronounce, pronounce my surname yeah, on radio. Yeah, so yeah. same thing. Yeah. It's a good way to get a name, yeah, I think. Yeah. At least I've got a story to tell as well. Yeah. It, well, you've got a few story to tell, yeah, yeah, the story yeah. to tell from yeah. what I've heard. Starting off with how you started your career, because I mean, whenever I hear a story and it starts off with a really wicked DJ yeah. and um, a Beat boy. <laughs> I mean, that's when I want to know what happened. Yeah. So looking at my size now, you wouldn't tell, but I used to break dance in high school. Yeah. And um, yeah, so I used to be part of a b-boy crew, but obviously staying at home, I didn't, you, know, you don't get to do much. You go, you go to school, go home, yeah. you go to school, go home. So when I got to varsity, I obviously got some freedom and discovered a whole lot of um, other new things. Yeah. And I uh, took up the interest or at least the love of music. And I uh, started DJing and came about clubs and all of that stuff. And then, yeah. I mean, didn't you used to stalk a lot of the, D the Cape Town yeah, DJs yeah. and kind of just shadow them to learn what, so, you, what they were doing? So, um, the one time I remember shadowing anyone was fresh, and I think in 2005 in yeah. Grahamstown. Uh, I think I was in grade 11. I wasn't supposed to be inside a club. 
But mm -hmm. I, I literally watched him play a five-hour set, and I was like, oh, my God, this is so cool. I want to do this. And later on in life, I would shadow a lot of other DJs who are now my peers in uh, the industry. Yeah. How did you get your break at 5FM? Did you have to go through that whole process of sending demo tapes yeah. and going to production managers? So 5FM, when I moved from Cape Town, uh, I did an internship for about, I think, a couple months. Yeah. And... Um, Every other year afterwards, I literally knocked on their door, sending demos, demos, demos. And the one year, which I was like, ah, I'm over, like, trying for radio, they called me and said, hey, bro, um, are you keen? It was actually on my birthday. I was going through, I was, you know, I was oh, just what like... what a good day <laughs> to get that news. Yeah, I was responding to uh, text and social media. Oh, happy birthday, happy birthday. And then this call comes. Um, and, yeah, I got the offer, and I was like... Okay, yeah, cool. You know, and like 10 seconds later, I was like, whoa, whoa, wait, wait. These people just called me, you know, and uh, it was pretty cool, man. I'm, and I'm on radio now. Yeah, I'm on radio. Yeah, yeah. so from, from beat boying to, to radio yeah. DJ. I have to ask you, do you still remember some of your breakdancing moves? Like, can you still do the worm? Uh, I can do, I think I'm a bit flexible, a bit here and there, but I could never be able to do the worm now. I must probably, uh, <laughs> I must probably be using my uh, medical aid for someone. Uh, <laughs> I was going to ask you if you could teach me how to do the worm, but the thing is, I'm wearing a I skirt. Think, and I, I don't I, think we need no. those kind of viewers no, no, on no, the no, show. No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, you've had a relatively short career, but yeah. an incredibly successful one already. Yeah. I mean, you've collaborated, of course, with Double HP and Questa, who yeah. literally, shout I mean, they called... Shout out to Questa. Shout out to Questa. Yeah. I mean, they were calling the Samas the Questa show this yeah. year. Yeah. So you definitely been... pick your your collaborations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us about, about your track. Uh, so my first thing was called Till the Morning. Um, inspired about uh, a typical South African summer. Um, we talk about good, clean fun, you know, hang out with your friends, meet, chilled environments, good environments. There's also yeah. a, a vocalist, sorry, we must add, Tribal, he's also on the song. Yes. And um, yeah, it's just about a typical summer in South Africa and uh, having fun, good, clean, fun, rolling down your windows, music loud, and Amazing. yeah. So that came about last year, just before, just before December. And yeah, I mean, I featured uh, a legend, WHP, and Questa, who is yeah. a legend in his own right, and Tribal, and it's called Till the Morning, and you can find it everywhere. How do you feel when people say that you're the next DJ Fresh? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a great compliment, but uh, in no way do I want to live under anyone's yeah. shadow. I obviously want to, you know, blossom myself. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a great compliment. I'm, I'm, I won't say, nah, you know, I'll be like, thank you. Totally. But um, yeah, he's a great dude who's helped me a lot um, yeah. in most of the things. And most of, uh, in terms of DJing space in the industry, just in general, I'm yeah. DJing and, and, and radio. And I give him a shout weekly. I always uh, thank him for a lot of the things that he's helped me with. Yeah, and, uh, he's yeah. amazing. He's yeah. such a great guy. Legend. But I want to, what I found really fascinating about you yeah. is, you know, you always see these radio DJs with larger than life personalities. Yeah. We're actually... Uh, you know, you in the clubs and you banging yeah. out all the latest beats. Yes. But you're actually an introverted person, and also yeah. you don't really like when in your own time you don't play yeah. the music that you play in clubs. Yeah. You actually yeah. a, a kind of classical yeah. music. Yeah. So um, it's pretty strange. Like again, you said I deal with a lot of crowds weekly, yeah. a lot of people, but I genuinely dig my own space. I like being by myself. Um, I think uh, growing up, my uh, my siblings are a bit older than me, so. When, I, when it came to maturing, I think they'd already left the house and I was by myself. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, from a young age, like I'd literally, I, was, I, was, I had my own space, even in varsity, I'd stay by myself. So uh, I think I've just kept, I've loved keeping to myself and yeah. I love my own space. And yeah, it's just, it's weird. I'm very shy, to be honest. I'm actually very shy. Like as much as I'll deal with a crowd of 10,000 people this week, but I'd rather just be by myself. And if you can't be by yourself, yeah. I think it's always a good idea to hang out with people like, I don't know, P. Diddy, <laughs> Paris Hilton, <laughs> Black Coffee. I mean, just... <laughs> I mean, I'd like uh, to crack that invite the uh, next time. Diddy's one of my favourites. Yeah. I mean, he's the only person I'll take yeah. life advice from. Yeah. <laughs> Look, uh, that was like a life-changing thing. Um, I, was in Miami. I was in Miami uh, for... It was my first time, and actually... I'd been trying to go to Miami for the longest time, but I was yeah. like, look, YOLO, you only live once. Yeah. Do this and do it now. And yeah, found myself in Miami and New York. And that trip was like a life-changing trip. Found myself at Diddy's house with black coffee, with fresh, um, yeah, with one of the biggest people. Like, it was so weird how I met Paris Hilton. I was just like dancing, and then this girl bumps me. I was like, hey, sorry, sorry. And I say <laughs> to someone, yo, this girl looks like Paris Hilton. And they're oh, like, bro, nice. look again. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Um, and yeah, it was just one of those parties no one can get into. 
Yeah. But far more away inside. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Diddy. Yeah. Well, it's cool. so wonderful to have you thank here. Thank you so much. And well done on Moving and Shaking 2017. Thank you, thank you, thank you, I think I'm going to see great things for you. I'm excited. Uh, there's new music coming, I think, in the next two weeks. I'm actually the first time I'm saying it. it, saying it. Uh, yeah, two weeks' time. I'm just the song's gone for mastering now. So in two weeks' time, I'm dropping a track called Flight Mode. I'm not going to say who's on the song, but uh, wow. it's called Flight Mode. And I think a week later, video should come. And, well, yeah. there you have it. Heard for the first time yeah. on Afternoon Express. Yeah. <laughs> thank you yeah. so much thank for Thank you that. so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so much still to come on this Monday on Afternoon Express. We've got a meat-free dish to make you in the kitchen. In fact, two of those dishes in the kitchen. Plus, we also haven't got a chance to wish all of our Muslim viewers Ramadan Karim from us at Afternoon Afternoon Express. And then coming up directly after the break, guess who's in the building? Deneen Naidu is going to be with us live on Afternoon Express. Love Scratch Free with new Head & Shoulders African Scalp Care. A warm welcome back to Afternoon Express live on SABC3 and oh my word, am I excited. One of the great things about working on this particular show is that I get to sit down with my former colleagues to chat about what they've been up to and for our next guest the answer is completely a lot. <laughs> so Lena Idu started with me at Hectic 99 and since then she's appeared as an insert presenter on Expresso Morning Show, she's hosted the tech show Edge, she started a PR company and now she's starting the next chapter of her life, a music career. Miss Naidu. What's up? I should start with Uber Uber. <laughs> Uber Uber. <laughs> it's so just good. Just for the kiss, you know? Yeah, just for all time's sake. Yeah. It's so good to sit down with you and catch Likewise. up. Likewise. 
Likewise, how incredible. We've grown so much and here we are and... My word. On to the next chapter. We're growing up as human beings. Aren't we just? Let's talk about it. I mean, <laughs> you left Hectic 99 and went on to do so many things. I couldn't keep up on social media from starting a PR agency to presenting on Expresso, that, all the stuff we mentioned already. Mm -hmm. I mean, what was that journey like? When you left, was it the sense of like, I knew what I wanted or like, oh gosh, now what? Well, when I left Hectic 99, I was fortunate enough to get invited back to Expresso um, uh -huh. as an insert presenter. Uh, I don't know who knows, but I started on, on Expresso as um, head of wardrobe, which uh -huh. was fantastic for a brief little while. And then, um, you know, I always believe in graceful exits as far as I can. And so it yeah. was fantastic to be invited back in mm. that space. Mm. Um, from there, went on to relocate, uh, did a science and tech show for two seasons, uh, was honored uh, with a SAFTA nomination. Yes, um, and, you know, it's been an incredibly interesting experience to do the Joburg move because mm. I feel like my skin toughened. Um, I'm always up for not becoming too complacent mm. in one setting and constantly just pushing myself and challenging it's myself, so mm. yeah. So not a lot of people know that Hectic 99, was, Hectic 99 is based in, in Cape Town, and so yep. you made that move to Johannesburg, and a lot of young creatives who are watching the show now always know that that's the general move that people make to kind of mm. make the money and get the job positions. Was it something that you saw happened? Was Is Joburg thriving? Is it a place where everyone's, you know, glitz and glam making, making the dollar? I was not phased about moving to Joburg for the longest okay. time. I was just like, I'm cool, I'm happier, mm. I, I don't see the reason why. But the more I started to think about it and looked at what it was I still wanted from my career, I had worked behind and in front of the scenes on all the mm. possible shows at the time that I could have. Mm. And so I just felt like, well, what's next? Mm. And packed up my 27 years in my car, drove one way, all on my own, and just decided if it's mm. it's now or never. And part of that was a journey of finding yourself, I'm sure, finding out what Deneen wanted to do, what were her skill sets, because you've got all these different things that you wanted yeah. to have your fingers in, and there were a lot of these things that you wanted to explore at the same time. So let's rewind all the way back to when we were on Hectic together and we pranked in Corsonati. This is <laughs> our floor manager. Y'all can be happy it's not April this yeah. month. <laughs> <laughs> when you fainted on the live show and it was this whole big stage thing we had, uh, I was in on the joke and stuff, and I there was this real playful, dramatic side to who you were. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. was a scene where we, obviously you fainted, the floor <laughs> I had no idea. He came rushing in and, you know, there he is, trying to, you know, oh, figure all this stuff out. Bliss. So this is the fun, dramatic side to the Nini I know. And yeah. then recently I've been scrolling through Instagram. I like double tap all of those photos on the Instagram <laughs> account. And you're posting more and more of these saucy images. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. Hello. And it's, it's this growing up of Deneen. And I, I want yeah. to understand that. Why, why was there this intentionality behind posting all of these photos online and trying to, you know, create this new sexy Deneen? So we're both Catholic. You know this. And um, I, I grew up in a very sheltered, conservative way, but somehow through being creative, just started to unbox myself a little bit more. Mm. And, and I'm 30 this year. Um, I've become a rebel heart. I've got a shaved head and tattoos. And I, it's just about becoming more and more comfortable in my skin. Um, that photo actually that you see there was taken in my grandparents' backyard. Oh my word, uh, <laughs> that was not in their backyard, I hope. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, so it's really just about who am I? Who do I really yeah. want to be? And mm. making a conscious effort every day to let people know who Deneen is now versus mm. who they thought she was back then. And just living my life as best I can mm. and as full as I can. But you see, trying to get to know who Deneen was, all we've seen is you on television as this beautifully like fashionista, vibrant, vivacious TV presenter. But then this music side just popped up. I think everyone was on the show wondering, like, why is Deneen coming into Afternoon Express to launch a single? Like, since when has she ever been a music? Like, I went out, why must we now yeah. throw us this couple? Well, the thing is that, you know, in PR, I had always been representing for artists and, and being that ear. I, somehow people mm. just trust me with their music and, and, and not knowing that actually deep down I always wanted to be that person. If you knew me from like five years old up until just before I started studying PR, you would know that side of me. Mm. Thereafter, people don't know that side of me. Um, I actually let it die. I always mm. say this, I really let it die. I stopped dancing, I stopped drama, um, and I just decided that you know, the end of last year, it is time. I don't, I don't want to die having this feeling that yes. I never did something or tried it at least once. Um, so here I am so launching today. my single and I'm in my element. I am terrified. I'm exhilarated. I'm so excited. And 
This is it's, the first time you're performing it on a television show, right? Yes. So, Afternoon Express has got an exclusive of the yes. performance of your new single. Mm -hmm. What's it called and, and what's the story behind it? Right. Rock Me ended up being an absolute retro sound, retro new age sound. Um, my producer, Nathan Redpath, King yeah. B, is an incredible wealth of music knowledge. Um, met him at an industry party, followed him on Instagram because he played such an awesome DJ set. Yeah. And then I saw, oh, he's a producer. So I was in the process at the time of trying to find people that would get by sound mm -hmm. and whose music um, talents I could appreciate. We had a meeting, went through his archives of music. I, I took some beats home, sat with it, wrote a bit, harmonized, got into studio, Rock Me was born. Sure. And the music video is done. I've thoroughly enjoyed the process. Um, we've, you know, just naturally people get the nostalgic yeah. part of mm. the song and reference, you know, say mm. Brenda Fussy Amazing. or Madonna yeah. um, or Janet. Or, so that makes me so happy because it was never the plan, mm. but my eclectic music soul has matched the song. So, so you've heard it here on Afternoon Express. All that magic that came from that process is about to be revealed <laughs> on Afternoon Express later on. I've heard the sound check and you are in for a treat. So what a fantastic message from Deneen. Like, imagine living a life knowing that you didn't take any opportunity to live your dream. So we're asking you on social media, if you could change your career to be anything else, what would you do? And uh, Lyndall Walker said, I changed my career path to be an air hostess because I want to travel the world and meet people. And then Pearl said, I would definitely become a fashion designer because I love everything about clothes. Well, good for you. And hopefully maybe consider those and make those career changes because remember, you only live once. Thank you so much for all of your questions and comments comments coming to us on our Facebook page. We'll be reading more from you a little bit later. Get a taste of the smooth life and you could win big when you buy Tropica. Follow the entry details on your Tropica bottle and stand a chance to win daily airtime prizes, a weekly giveaway of an experience with a Tropica Island of Treasure contestant, sunglass hat vouchers, Daniel Klein watches or LG home appliances. You could also win the grand prize of a brand new Kia Sportage. T's and C's apply on tropica.co.za. There's nothing smoother than winning with Tropica. Don't forget to watch Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles every Monday at 7.30 on SABC3. Make it chop, make it chop. Okay. Yeah. Chop, chop. Um, there's no, re there's no recap here. This is on, you can just move, the move it across. Okay, perfect. Okay, a minute just take, we've got a minute less than we, you, you've paid for, but not okay. that you've ever done it before, so you wouldn't know what a minute looks like. No. But if I'm like, ha, how do you finish off the desk, Liazette? Then you can tell me, like, this is okay. how you quickly finish it off. Okay, awesome. Yeah? No, that's right. Can I have Okay. So, uh, listen, our cue, actually, if, I'm, if I've run out of time, will be, can we take a look at our final product, Leo, what it looks like at the end, yeah. and you can show us that. Something's moved. Nothing is moved. Where is the final product?
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Wearing my polo neck, I feel like I should say, welcome back to Afternoon Express. I feel like one of those people. It's so good to have you with us on the show today. It is officially a meat-free Monday, but today we're going to be calling it Green Monday. And for a first time ever in the Afternoon Express loft, come to cook with us, Leo Zett, who's the campaign manager from HSI Africa. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I'm I very excited to be in the Are you? kitchen. Yeah. I'm excited to have you because I've seen what you're making on this menu. Oh, yes. a, a, a lentil and sweet potato curry. Oh, yes. Why meat-free Monday? Well, what is that? Green Monday. Green Monday. What is that? It's a fun and delicious way that people can actually make a positive difference, not just to their health, but also the environment. Okay. And because we know that people tend to overindulge over the weekend mm -hmm. with parties and weddings and rugby, we thought that uh, Monday is a great day to detox and eat healthy and fresh and green. Right. So we're going to go with all these plant-based ingredients. Can I get started to help you? What can yes, I do? Yes, please. If you can chop the tomato for me. Which tomato? This one? Yes, you can chop that tomato for me. So How would you like it? Um, small chunks. Small little chunkies? Yes, please. Cool. I'm going to take this a little bit <laughs> yeah, out. Yeah, maybe take that part out. Just like that. And in terms of these plant-based diets, how is that going to help us? Like, what is the point of cutting out meat from our diet? Well, firstly, if we look at the, the environment, um, animal agriculture is actually detrimental to our environment. Um, it actually contributes to climate change, water pollution, and water use. Mm. And at the moment, with the droughts that we're experiencing in South Africa, it's very important to help save every single bit of water that we possibly okay, can. Cool. And eating a plant-based diet one day every week can help do that. Right. And basically on our Facebook, on our Facebook page, on our Twitter account, if you go find us afternoon chat, we're running a poll because I think it's quite hard for people to be able to change their habits. And so we're asking you at home, by the way, uh, if you could change your diet for like one day or like do it for a week, try and go plant-free for a week, do you think you could do it? Um, go and vote our poll afternoon chat on Twitter. Hmm. Cool. So what have you got going on over there? We're busy just caramelizing our onions for a little cool. bit to make it nice and translucent. Are these tomatoes okay so far? They are perfect. Like well done. That, eh? Yes. Just a little chopped little diced bits. All right, let's keep going. Now we're just going to add all of our spices. So we're taking ginger and garlic, which we'll take um, with All those aromatics are oh, favorite. The smell of ginger and onions in a kitchen is just divine. Whoops. Oopsie. Throwing my tomatoes. Okay, cool. So now we're going to go in with all the curry flavors, which is where you're getting your curry oh, from. Oh, yes. So right. we are using turmeric and we are using curry powder and gram masala, some ground cardamom, and then we're going to add our liquids and our lentils okay. because today we're cooking with pulses. Lovely. With pulses? Yes. What's that? Pulses are the edible dry seeds of the plant family from uh, legumes. And it's really important to eat um, our, our pulses, at least yeah. three portions a day, because it's very high in protein, yeah. and also it's low in sodium, and it's low in fat. You see, this is why we need to have a green Monday, because I didn't even know that those things exist. I've never heard about pulse exactly. in my life before. A lot of people don't know lentils, about pulses. Lentils, chickpeas. Lentils, uh, chickpeas, and um, a variety of dried beans. Yeah. I thought the only people who know, knew and uh, valued pulses were nurses, you know, if you pulse there, you're happy. I mean, the rest of us now are going to have pulses in the kitchen and we're happy about that. <laughs> okay, can you please pass me the lentils sure, okay, and you go. the sweet potato? Right, you're so you've got a mix of lentils there. You've got an orange lentil, which I Oh, yes, and we have brown lentils as well. Well, red and, um, and brown lentils. Red and brown. Can yep, I you these can, in? Yes, you can. Thank you. Now those are going to obviously soak up all of that flavor exactly. that Exactly. We just give it a good mix so that all the spices cling to the sweet potato and the lentils. Do you need these ever? Yes, I'm going to use them just now. You can tell me. I'm, I'm, you're my boss, all right? You're my <laughs> boss in this kitchen. Leo, is the first, first time she's been in our loft with us today. She just tuned into the show. So she gets to boss me around as much as she wants. I think I Clem should visit you enough. more often. You should. Okay. Okay, that's it. What else do we need in there? We're going to use our seeds, actually. Here we go. Can I season as well? No. No? Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Ooh, I'm going to get into trouble. I'm going to get into trouble. Okay. By the way, if you guys want to get all the details on our recipe, you can SMS the keyword green to 33650. It'll cost you 150 and those free SMSs don't apply. That's how you get all these recipes. So if you're busy taking notes right now, don't stress. Uh, 150 will get you all the details on your mobile device. Okay, time for those tomatoes into the pan. Tomatoes into the pan. I'm going to scoop chop. them in. Ooh, sure. I like this demanding nature. There we go. Me that's what you're here for. Mm -hmm. And basically, once you've combined all those together, we get to our final product. Exactly. Which We're going to use the coconut milk, add some water to it, and oh. just simmer it down until our sweet potato is nice and soft. And then our final product would look something like oh, that. Yum. And, and you can eat it with rice or with a nice toasted roti. 
and it's full, full, full of nutrition, which I think is the best part about this. So I really okay. challenge you. I challenge you at home. If you are not one of those people who goes green one day in the week, or maybe for an entire week, try and see if you can eat plant-based diets for just one week. And if it's possible for you, then what I want you to do uh, is you can win with us by doing that. Um, yes. What we're going to be doing today on the show, there's a competition post on our Facebook page. If you can take a photo with yourself in it of you and your plant-based dish, but try and make this curry. I think it's probably the best yes. way. Yes. Oh, it's so lovely. Your lentil curry. If you take a photo of yourself and your curry and post it on our post on Facebook, you can win yourself a 1,000 Rand Woolies voucher. You've only got until when. Wednesday at 4 o'clock to get those posts through. So make it for this evening or perhaps tomorrow. Take that photo and post it on our page and you can win yourself a thousand rand Woolies voucher. Leah, well done. Thank you. Happy Green Monday, Dan. Happy Green Monday. Thank you for helping me in the kitchen. Pleasure. And to you guys at home. Over to you, Jeans. So it's really no secret. Everybody knows that I love big rocks, but usually they come in diamond forms. Now, rock climbing sounds like the kind of things that teenage boys get up to when their parents aren't looking, but it's also an incredibly popular sport. Traditionally, it's done outdoors with ropes and harnesses, where participants actually scale immense fear-inducing cliff faces. But over the past 20 years, a new, less intimidating form of climbing has grown in popularity, so much so that it's been announced as a new Olympic sport from 2020. So I decided in the new Afternoon Explore series to check it out for myself. Tonians weren't adventurous enough. There's a brand new gym in town that'll certainly help you bring out your inner spider woman. Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm good, and you? Great. Lovely having you here. <laughs> Thank you. Do people come here and use this as a daily form of exercise, like a normal gym? Some people come here just to improve their fitness routine. For others, climbing is a lifestyle and it is a dedication. Um, yeah, like our pros. How fit does one have to be to be able to do these? Um, anyone can really try it. That's why you see all the different colours on the wall for grading. So the white ones you see are the easiest, followed by the blue, uh, the black, the pink, and so on. And it really is just about enjoying it. You don't have to have a specific fitness level or anything. Um, often the guys with the big, um, big muscles come in here and uh, <laughs> they find that gravity defeats them. So, <laughs> It really is just a game for everyone. And I always enjoy a good sport with good shoes. <laughs> Our shoes are there to give your foot good support and they actually make quite a bit of difference with reach. Oh really? Yes. To begin with, we just want a shoe that doesn't hurt you too much, but it's also not a shoe that you should be able to walk around in for hours. Oh, well, then they're exactly the same as my stilettos in that case. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any woman could relate. <laughs> Should we go do this? Yes, let's see what you've got. <laughs> I've done rock climbing before, but I was on an abseil harness. So this is bouldering. Yeah. You don't see any ropes attached, but we're on a very nice and firm. Oh yeah, that's true. I'm not so scared falling on this. <laughs> okay. Very important, your chalk. This is used to make your hands less slippery. Okay. Friction is a big part of our game. And to ruin my manicure. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Hmm, we're going to have fun with those. Climbers well, usually like uh, short nails because okay. you can see some of these grips are very small. Okay. But um, today I think we're fine. Okay. So I'm chalked up and ready to go. You're chalked up, ready to go. <laughs> I would like you to be. just try and just get up the white. Okay. Let's see how that goes. I've got you spotted, meaning I'll make sure that if you fall, you Check fall nicely. Man, I can do this. And from here, I want you to jump down. Ready? Yep. And jump. Perfect. Beautiful. How was that? Yeah, fine. Yes. I always like to start with that because uh -huh. climbing is a huge mind game. I see most of these rock faces are at different angles. That must be quite intimidating. Yes, we have different faces and angles just to mimic nature and find what we see outdoors. But I reckon that's probably why it's such a beneficial form of exercise, because it's mimicking what you see in nature. I reckon it moves your body in quite beneficial ways. Exactly. Oh. Let's do this. Yes. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually get you one further this time. Again, I've got you spotted, just making sure you land nicely. So now let's see. This is where the riddle comes in because you have to turn out right there. Oh, no, man. What do you mean? I've got to go right. 
You do have a foot here, so see if you can step here for me. I've got you. Good. Very nice. Okay. And now we need to go all the way to the right. Yes, beautiful. Move your feet up. Good. One more. And you're nearly at the top. Woohoo! Well I done. Made it. Now you've got a choice if you want to down climb or if you want to jump off. If I were you, I would I'm just try and climb, grab the previous hold. Very nice. And then just slowly start walking down. Now you can jump. Woo! Well done. Woo! <laughs> Full action there. Yeah, okay, that doesn't look very high. <laughs> but when you're there, you've got to jump off. It's high. It is. High. I think that deserves a high five, though. Definitely. Very Thank well you. done. <laughs> oh, well, How does that enough. feel? Um, I'm a boulderer. You are. Natural. <laughs> I know. Like, you were spotting me. Like, what does it mean to spot someone? Because, I mean, you're not going to catch me. I'm going to crush you. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, um, the spotters just make sure that you land on your feet. Okay. And that your head doesn't hit anything. Okay. So great. they just make sure that you fall in the right way. It's not their job to catch you. Thank you so much, Julia. Absolutely. <laughs> I usually consider myself to be quite fit, but this was quite an overall full body workout. Within just a few minutes of climbing that wall, I really felt my heart rate shooting up, and tomorrow I'm going to be stiff like Madonna. Overall, I really like this, and you never know, I might be hanging up my dancing shoes for climbing shoes. <laughs> Oh man, Jeannie taking rocking to a whole new level. And speaking of, directly after the break, right here on Afternoon Express, we've got a chickpea and lentil lasagna for you. Plus, later on in the show, speaking of rocks, uh, Denise Naidu has got her brand new single launching on Afternoon Express. Stay right where you are. Express yourself. Sea Harvest. New look, same great taste.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3. It's so good to have you on a brand new week. If you guys haven't yet, find us on all our social media details. Afternoon Express on Facebook, Afternoon Chat on Twitter, and using that hashtag Afternoon Express. Facebook, we're asking you the question, if you could change your career path, what would it be and why? And on Twitter, we're asking you the poll, would you turn meat free for an entire week? And if so, uh, go and vote in that poll, Afternoon Chat, hashtag Afternoon Express. And so today, in order to celebrate that meat free, that green Monday that we've been talking about, you're also going to be making us a second dish, mm -hmm. chickpea lentil lasagna. And I'm going to use that to enter the competition. You can do that, yes. Basically, the competition is take a photo of yourself with your meat-free dish, post it on our post on Facebook on the competition post, and a thousand and Woody's voucher could be yours. Cool, so I could win? Yes. Really? Yes, it's not nepotism. Awesome. Great. You're cooking it. Well Great. done. Where's the selfie? Should I get my phone out? Exactly. No, no, no. Not oh, just yet. Okay, Let's get cool. cooking Let's first. Let's finish it. So, my inspiration for this is because Woody's have this amazing deal right now. I'm going to put the knife down. It's a bit dangerous right now. There we Why? go. Keep it green. There we go. So, they got this amazing roast veggies and a fruit salad and this lasagna for under 200 rand and it oh, feeds yeah, four awesome. people. So I was like, wait, we spoke about Green Monday. Let me see if I can make a green version of a lasagna. Cool. Here's to actually cook. All yes. Right. Got Let's you. get going. So what can I do? My onions are busy cooking already because I like to cook them down a bit, give them a little some time to sweeten up. I'm going to ask you to... Lisa, what can I also do? Some red pepper. Will you do some red pepper for me? I can do that. Red pepper is great because it adds a nice sweetness to the dish. It kind of like I feel like it adds like a, that tomatoy base, but it's got that beautiful earthy sweetness that I love so much, and a bit of citrus in there as well. So to my onions, while you're busy chopping, mm -hmm. can I'm you listening. Pass some carrots and some celery. Sure, yeah, some carrots. There These are all the harder vegetables that you could be putting in there yeah. so that they can Let start the, to soften. Give them some time to start cooking down, and then my tip that I love doing with this always. Don't, don't cut me, don't cut me, don't cut me. A little bit of salt and pepper into the pan right now. What that does is brings out the moisture in the extra vegetables. Okay. And also cook them. Off, mm. Helps them sweat, yes. Cool. I like your how, how much terminology? How big yes. must I cut these? Like a sort of that size? Yes. I'm, I'm a bit worried having you with a knife in your hand today. You look very villainous. Oh yeah, that's true actually. I look like a terrible evil villain. Ha 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 I'm going to make some vegetables. All right, cool. Sound like Count Dracula. I know. I've even got the ring on it. Two. I've got everything. Like yeah, got you everything. really do. Okay, I'm going to go in with these peppers. And then I've got some baby marrows. What I've done is, I've taken... Ooh, Dan, can you pass the baby marrows? Actually, I think it's a bad idea. I'm really scared. So I've chopped up some. Mm -hmm. And the others, I've created fine ribbons. So can you pop the ribbons over here for me quickly? Sure. And the ribbons are obviously going to cook off quicker than those chopped little bits are, there right? There we go. I'm actually going to use the ribbons kind of like lasagna sheets. I'm absolutely using lasagna sheets. But I create another layer of, like, these little layers with... The, with those guys. Cool. So basically you can limit the amount of carbs you want to incorporate into your diet by like sort of mm -hmm. putting more of the sheets, those, um, what do you call it, courgette sheets, then, then you yeah. do pasta leaves. You could take sheets. out that lasagna sheet completely to this awesome. whole, whole thing carb free. But carbs love me and I love carbs, so yeah. more sheets the better. I'm cool. not one of those people. No, you're not. It's okay. So I'm, I'm not a genie. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got, okay, we've got some um, red onion in there. Oh, 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 genie, genie launched something at you and it just missed you. She just missed. Uh, oh, oh, now she's heading this way. Wait, no. Just be careful. Oh. Okay, so genie, I've got a knife. You stay back. Stay right. back. So I've got some onions in here. I've added some onion flakes to it. Okay, guys, it's about to go down. It's getting scary. I whoa, promise you, whoa, I didn't mean whoa. it. I didn't mean it. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it. Okay? I didn't. No, I wanted to go and see what you're making since I can also eat. Cards. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So okay, added, there we go. <laughs> I've added a bay leaf to this, and I've added some chili flakes as well. We're getting a little bit of smoked. Can I these in? Yes, you can totally go for it. And then, Dan, I've got some um, passata. Can you pass it to me? I don't know what passata is. It's that tomato sauce over there. It's basically, it's uncooked tomato sauce. Do it to jeans. There we go, Jeannie. You I can do that for me. Sauce. And then, will you go in with my peppers? So not the peppers, not spices. So sure. I've got some ground coriander, some cumin, there, some cayenne pepper. Was I meant to throw the whole thing in? Yes, absolutely. I like this. I like this a lot. But I've got some chickpeas and some um, lentils, and that's my little addition there, adding pulses to it. What and I know these? you love lentils. I know you love lentils. You know what? Let's not waste. Add it. You, it's okay. you never clear the bowl out. So I always, I, you I, always I, leave I like a little bit left clear the room. You know how to clear the room, but not how to clear the bowl. Is that uh, no, no one? No. Okay, cool. So let's pull this bad boy. I was going to say it's because I always keep some for you. Give it a little doggy bag, send it home with you, but now no more. So the no reason more. why I came in is can I ask you to cut me a little portion without putting in the lasagna because I'm not going to allow any carbs. <laughs> get out of the kitchen. Just get out. I don't like carbs. You can't be in this kitchen. 
All right, cool. So now let's start layering on those pasta sheets. I'm going to go with a little bit of the sauce. Cool. There we and go. Gonna, there we go. I'm, I'm going to smooth it out. Don't worry. Keep oh, it nice and rustic. It Keep it nice and rustic. Okay. Well, we there do we this at home. Basically, your final dish will look something like that once you've layered up all these different flavors as you go. And uh, if you want to get all the details on your mobile device, it's really simple. You SMS the keyword EAT to 33650. It'll cost you one rand fifty, and those free SMSs do not apply. And you'll get all the details, a link to the recipe, etc. And if maybe you've just tuned into the show and wondering what we're making and how we made it, here's a recap. I hope that challenge has been accepted. Are you going to go green this Monday, meat-free yes. at least once in the week? I think it's a I good challenge. I go meat-free constantly. I don't eat red meat anymore. Oh, wow. Jeez, yeah. I could never. Like, I honestly don't know how. It's been so ingrained in our culture to, like, eat meat at I every know. single meal. It's I crazy. Know. Listen, later on in the show, we're so excited. Uh, Denise Knightley is going to be performing her single Ooh, live right on Afternoon Express. So happy, uh, expre Express. Afternoon Express. So that's coming up. She does make you a little nervous, I've noticed. You Just get very tad. excited when she's around. You know what? My fashion <laughs> sense is, like, because of that woman. She dressed me for my first ever Met. Really? Yes. So then she will be very proud of your outfit choice today because you are looking good. Ah, oh, thanks. You're looking like a Bond villain. So listen, that's coming up later on in the show and I cannot wait for that. But tonight is a big night. Tropic Island of Treasure, will, uh, Seychelles will be airing as well. And last week I interviewed, obviously, Zakia's Zaki, team. yeah. I'm uh, bleak she's out. It was such a complicated way that they exited. It was quite a lot of drama around yeah, her exit. Yeah, a little confusion. But now there's three people left, hey? Yes. Maurice, Siv and Anga. Yes, and they're all competing for like a million rand, which is crazy. So when they win the million, they don't have to give anything to charity. They get to keep everything for themselves. Do they no, it split is for it charity. with the person? I think it's for Did charity. Do they not keep the, the half a million? I don't know. I think it goes straight to a charity. I think it's they raising money for a charity. Okay, and then the person that they're with keeps their half I a hope, million. Yes, that would be the hope. I was, if I you had to win, what would you do with a half a million rand? Start a business. It's the best way to make money. Well, totally. See, I've taught him well. We love money. He has taught, she's taught me so well. <laughs> now, listen, obviously, tonight there's going to be another challenge where they get to win themselves bounty. And if you want a sneak peek of what to expect, here's a sneaky. Tonight on Tropica Island of Treasure, they show contestants battle the elements. Yes, the rain gets heavier and the drama gets thicker. Good. Yes. And each other. Ah! For the first time in a bounty challenge, we're feeling confident. And the final three teams are rewarded with a feast as a special surprise. Yeah, I'm not touching that. I'll eat anything. Tropica Island of Treasure Seychelles. Tonight at 7.30 p.m. on SABC3. The stage is yours. What's up, what's up, Afternoon Express? Hey! Rock steady, feel me move, watch the way I move, feel me in motion, like you do, baby let's just groove, Ooh. I want
A rocking welcome back to Afternoon Express, live on SABC3. Deneen Naidu joins us and she's got her first time ever single, her first single ever, as well as her music video launching right here on Afternoon Express. First time ever performed on national television. It's called Rock Me. Deneen, take it away. What's up, Afternoon Express? It's time for us to say goodbye. We'll see you same time, same place tomorrow live on SABC3. Good night and happy evening, Kenya. Well done. Wow, it's amazing. Another feel-good production.